Understanding structural behavior is a vital skill that every civil and structural engineer should have. In this tutorial, I will talk about double overhanging beam where I will plot its bending moment and shear force diagram. This is part of iStruct e-certificate in structural behavior or if you simply want to understand how structures work, this tutorial is for you. Let's dive straight into the example. This is a double overhanging beam and we have to plot the correct diagram. And there are four options for this question. If you want to try this question now, before I start, go to this URL or scan this barcode to try it first and post your answer in the comments down below. We have to select bending moment diagram for this beam and there are four options. Looking at these options, I will use elimination technique to eliminate certain options. And moment in this case over here will be 9 times 2 that is the total load and that will be acting at 1 meter away from here. So 9 times 2 times 1 here I will have 18 kN meter and moment on this side will be 9 times 1 times half of the distance of 1 that will be equal to half. So here I will have 4.5 kN meter. So these overhang portion will generate some kind of moment over here. This is clear that on left side, if I call this point as A and if I call this point as B, on left side, I have 4.5 kN, on right side, I have 18 kN. And here at the central portion, I'm not sure what will be exact moment or what will be maximum moment. So let us assess these options. So first option A has got 36 on right and 9 kN on left. It means that this option is gone. So I cannot use this option. Again, the second option has got 36 and 9, which means that this option is gone as well. Now it leaves me with two options C and D. Here you can see I have 18 kN, 18 and I have 4.5 and 4.5 but I'm not sure if the maximum moment in this portion will be zero or it will have certain value. Now how do I find out what will be exact value of uh, this moment? For that I will have to plot a shear force diagram and you know that where shear force is zero, the sagging pending moment is maximum. If I call this point as A and this point as B there will be reaction VA and here you will have reaction uh, VB so first I will find out reactions if I wanted to plot the shear force diagram so first I will say the first equation I will use e equations of equilibrium summation of vertical forces equal to zero and here I have VA plus VB is equal to nine times the overall uh, span is uh, 6 so which is equal to 54 kilonewton and secondly I will say summation of moment at B is equal to 0 so first I will have this loading loading is creating with respect to B it is creating anti-clockwise moment so I will say 9 times it is spread on 4 3 plus 1 and it is acting at half of four. So this is the first load. And second is VA that is creating a clockwise moment with respect to B. So I will say plus VA into three meters. And then I have loading from this side as well that is creating clockwise moment. That will be plus nine times two times two over Two, so that will be equal to zero if you simplify this you will get minus 72 plus 18 plus VA into 3 and that is equal to zero so minus 72 plus 18 if I simplify this VA will be equal to 54 if I bring minus 54 on the other side divided by 3 this will give me VA as 18 kN. Now uh, what I can do, I can simply put this back in here to work out the VB or I can say summation of moment at A is equal to zero. Third is summation of moment 
at a is equal to zero so when i say summation of moment at a is equal to zero i will have first of all the reaction vb so vb times three it is creating anti-clockwise moment so vb times three is minus then i have plus nine times five five divided by two and then i have negative that is load in the overhang portion that is nine times one times one divided by two if you simplify this you will get value of vb as 36 kilonewton once i've got these values my fourth step will be to to verify it fourth step verify verify means that va plus vb it should be equal to 54 va was 18 plus vb is 36 that is equal to 54 so 54 is equal to 54 it means that the values which i have worked out they are absolutely fine the next thing i will find out the position of zero shear force so here i will plot the shear force diagram this is point a this is the point b and this is the overhang portion from left end point to a i have initially got nine times this distance this distance is one meters so nine times one this is downwards and my sign convention is this one upward forces are positive clockwise moment are positive and leftward forces are positive and from right side downward forces are positive anti-clockwise moments are positive and rightward forces are positive this is a sign convention which i'll be using so downward force means that it should be downwards here so nine times one it is nine at a you can see i have reaction 18 so uh, that reaction 18 is upwards so minus 9 plus 18 it will give me 9 over here and then again between a and b i have udl so udl of 9 kilonewton meters so 9 times 3 will give me minus 27 so 9 minus 27 this will give me 18 over here and minus 18 this is minus 9 and at b i have 36 so when you add up 36 it will be 18 over here and then again at the end i have no reaction so this is sfd shear force diagram the next thing i want to do i want to i want to find out where shear force is zero and that will give me value of maximum bending moment so i call this point as x and I call this point as three minus X. So by comparing two triangles, I would say X over nine horizontal of left divided by vertical of left is equal to horizontal of right. That is three minus X divided by vertical of right is 18. So this will give me 18 X and by cross multiplying, this will be 27 minus 9x so if i bring 9 on this side it will be equal to 27x is equal to uh, 27 so x will be equal to 1. once i've got value of x then remember that we are looking for two values one is zero other is 10 kilonewton meter so we will find out moment at this point where shear force is zero So let me find out now moment at this point i call this point as c so mc what i am doing i'm finding moment at this point which is one meter away from here here i will have loading first of all loading nine times two times one so i will have loading that is creating anti-clockwise moment so nine times two times half of two is one this is anti-clockwise plus i have reaction reaction is 18 so reaction va is 18 times one that will create moment as well so 18 times one and that will be positive so minus 18 plus 18 it is giving me zero moment so mc is zero and 
the diagram will look like this and here I have 4.5 and here I had 18 kN meter and the diagram will look like this this is final BMD that means that if I go back to the options option D is incorrect because it's got a moment of 10 kN which is not possible option C is the correct one which is got central bending moment as zero kN meter so the correct option is option C where we have bending moment which is equal to zero kN meter if you enjoyed this video then you might want to have a look at the entire video series click on this url or scan this barcode to have a look at this series on a structural behavior you can download the copy of slides to solve the questions as you go on by simply going to this url or scan this barcode